Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name's Pillify, and today we are here to counter a glow. Which glow might that be? Why, of course it's the barrel glow. And these are going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters this brand new barrel glow. We've got Ivan, Blobman, Golaner, Eddie, Klee, Cyborg, and Carl. I appreciate all of them. Let's get into this. You can use the rocks, although I wouldn't use diamond. I'd much rather use either custom or mega rock down there because when you're in a rock form, the barrels are not going to do anything to you. So if you go into rock form and then throw a barrel at you, nothing's going to happen. You are perfectly safe in your little home or domicile of your rock. You can even do it in combat if you hear them throw it you can pop a rock real quick and then go back into combat so the rocks are definitely going to be a top counter in this situation are you safe with the z glove so if you are sleeping on the ground oh my god the z glove does bypass the knockback that is given so if you're in mid combat and you hear a barrel thrown and you go on the ground yep you absolutely could same kind of scenario as the rocks it's just a little bit less secure because you can be slapped i'm going to give the z glove like a 90 percent counter whereas the rocks are going to be a gold tier counter you could use space to be up in the air but the bad problem with space is the cooldown you'd only use this to get close to them and avoid being hit by the barrel itself so while you're up in the air of course you cannot be hit with any barrel so while you're in this time use this to get close to them and start slapping them because they're not, they're not going to be able to hit you with a barrel up close and if you don't end up getting close enough to them it's going to be bad for you because again zero g takes a long time for you to get your ability back how well could speed run work 99 percent of your cases you're going to have one barrel being thrown at you in the rare case you have multiple barrels it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you to dodge but i think with speed you can easily bait out a shot by walking back where they like but continuing to walk back you can bait barrels to be thrown at people too <laughs> I like speed here. I'm not sure if I want to give this a top tier counter, but it's definitely something that works out very well. If you can get to the point of being able to use the golden ability, of course, being in the power up ability, you're not going to take any knockback. But this is only a 50 50 just due to the fact that it takes ages to get your power up ability. If you use this glove once and target a barrel user, they're going to know to probably go after you again because you're going to be a threat to them. So while you don't have this ability ready, be warned. But while you do have it ready, if they try to hit you with barrels, nothing is going to happen. Once it's done, you're going to have a long 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 cooldown here and if you don't end up oofing them you're probably gonna get bullied what kind of knockback reduction can you take with mr i think you still take the same amount of knockback it's just very easy to control when you do get hit it's not something you'd really have to worry about as an mr user it's kind of like being hit in the face with like a piece of cheese not a top tier counter just something that would keep you safe are replica clones affected by the barrels no, they're not. So you could indeed use the replica clone to bait out them tossing the barrels at the wrong person. Is this the counter I'd use? Probably not. This is only going to be like a 50-50. What happens with reverse? All right, with reverse activated, if they were to throw a barrel at you, they take the knockback. So reverse does work. This would be a glove you'd use to push them. As soon as they take that knockback, you'd push them and get closer to them. You'd have to watch the cooldown as they do get their cooldown much faster than you. But if they throw that barrel at you and they get hit, all you'd have to do is just use that time to get close to them because now they're not not going to be able to hit you and you can go to slapping. I think I'm going to give this a top tier counter. Balloon is going to be great for this. The thing I always say in every video is I always highly recommend that you walk around with the two balloons active because you can jump and you can stay above the island and not have to worry that much at all. Even if you do get hit, you can float right back into wherever you need. And you can always just pop a balloon and go wherever you like. And you can always just drop right on top of them. And they'd never see it coming. So Balloonie's definitely great. I think I would give it a top counter. Elgato works the same way as Reverse, but I'm not going to give it a top counter because it does take a certain amount of time for you to start petting the cat. So I'm only going to say that Elgato is a 75% counter. Same functionality as Reverse, you just have to wait for that cat to be petting. So yeah, I'm going to give it that 75. The Ping Pong, the Slicer, and the Table Flip are all deterrent gloves. These are only gloves you'd use to just throw at these players in hopes to keep them way far away from you. Do you have time to use grapple so this is definitely great to use this to get right in their faces so they can't throw a barrel at you but let's see if you hear the barrel being thrown at you how easy would it be for you to dodge it oh honestly i think you would have a pretty good decent time to get out of the way and you get the abilities back pretty much the exact same time so it's not something you'd have to really watch out for even if you do get hit, you're still flying over to where you need to be. This might be a top counter. I'm not too sure yet. Are you affected while you're in a cloud? All right, so if you somehow manage to get hit by a barrel while you're in the cloud, what happens? 
nothing. You're perfectly safe while in a cloud. So if you want to use the cloud and just kind of hover around on the bottom, you would not have to worry about a barrel being thrown. But counter-wise, is this something I would say is a counter? I wouldn't think so. This is more like a 50-50. You can use this offensively to use the cloud glove to go and slap them up close, but I, it's just not something that I would say is something that would be worth it on my end. So I like it at that 50-50. One thing to test with parry is the cooldown of your dash. If you use the dash, you could of course get close to them. The thing to see is when do they get their ability back? Ooh, they get their ability back a little bit before you. So you would have to use this to dash forward to go and attack them. He'll throw a barrel, and I'll dash forward. And watch when he can throw a barrel again. It'll be right there, so you have a little bit above parry. Or like 0.6 of a second before you could throw it again. So you could definitely use the parry glove. Just note that they do get their ability back a little bit before you, so you'd have to make sure you're up close to them. And with parry's dash, you could absolutely do that. So I think I might give parry here a top counter, maybe. Ferryman's dash and using the ferryman or jump will help you avoid being hit by the barrels. One thing to see with ferryman, though, is if you're on top of the ore, can you be hit off with a barrel? Okay, you can be hit, so you just be very careful with that while you're using Ferryman. But the thing with Ferryman is you're going to want to use this to get close to them so that they can no longer hit you with the barrels. So Ferryman is just like Parry, but I think I would use Parry in this situation. If you go into the Blink form, are you able to avoid the knockback? Alright. Yep, yes you can. So you could panic use the Blink as well. You could panic use it just like that to where you would not be hit. Being able to pop a blink immediately and save yourself from the knockback of an incoming barrel is an absolute W. So definitely going to give blink a gold tier counter here. Speed army, you are unaffected. If you are a speed rock and you get hit with a barrel, you're not taking any knockback. If you can get up into a UFO before they hit you with barrels, you could absolutely abduct them and there's nothing that they can do because they have no speed abilities. But this has a long spawn cooldown and if they know that you're targeting them, you might not be able to get into a UFO at all because as soon as they see you stop moving, they're gonna heave a barrel at you and because of that reason i'm only gonna put ufo as 50 50. 64 is probably gonna be a top counter here with this glove all you'd have to do is just double jump like that and now you're up close and they can't do anything about that yep i think i'm gonna put 64 as a top counter here you can of course throw barrels at other barrel users that does work you could just have an all-out war if you will i don't think they can throw barrels during time stop i don't think that they could throw it during time stop nope out of all the one shots god's hand is gonna be the only one that would get a slight recommendation but this is barely a 50 50 just due to the fact that barrels cannot throw their abilities during God's Hand's time stop. What happens with Titan users? Nothing. Well, this Titan is completely invulnerable to them. Oh, this is a massive counter for barrel users. There's nothing they can do besides walking up and slapping, and they risk being stepped on like that. So yeah, Titan is a uh, is a big counter for that. Definitely a gold tier counter. The Phase Glove is 50-50. It'll keep you safe. It might be a little bit above. It might be like 75, because if they throw a barrel at you, you could easily use this to walk up and get in somebody's face. As soon as it hits, just go right up to them, and now the barrel ability is now nullified, and you just have to circle them and slap them when you're out. That's the way I would use phase. So, I think actually above a 75, maybe a 90, I was sleeping on it. How effective is moon? If you have multiple being thrown at you, you're gonna have to unequip and equip your glove. But you can definitely jump over that blast. Is it gonna be something that's easy to do? Definitely not. But if you have good timing, you can absolutely jump over these barrels. Yeah, for sure. This works take 10 times better than Spring does. I wouldn't consider this a top tier counter. I would just say that this is like a 80% counter. Somewhere up in there. I'm assuming that the Jupiter Glove has some pretty good knockback reduction here. Yeah, it reduces a lot, but I don't know if I would want to say that I would use this necessarily, but you're still going to be bullied a little bit with it, so I don't know. Hybrid has speed and the ability to use Jupiter, so it's kind of the same rating as Jupiter. I'm going to give it the 80. Not the full 100 though, as the speed isn't as good as speed run. Can you be hit off of Rattlebones? Nope, you can't be hit off a of rattle bones, it just changes the direction of where you're facing. Which, I mean, in that case, it did get me oof, so <laughs> you'd have to watch out for that. So I'm only gonna say that rattle bones is like a 50-50 here. Charger is also gonna be a 50-50, so if there's a barrel user, you could obviously just use this to get up close to them. And now you're in a slap fight. The one thing you're gonna have to watch is if you are slap fighting, and you do end up getting, hitting them away, or you get hit away, they have the advantage again because they have the cooldown advantage. But as long as you survive, you can get right back up to them and up close, and there's not much that they can do. My personal recommendation, I'm going to keep it at that 50-50. The thing to test with fish here is the cooldown. If you get hit and flop over, you're right in their face now. That's a good thing with fish. But I believe they win that cooldown battle. Yeah, they absolutely do. They win it by almost 2x, something like that. But if you get hit, just fling right at them, and now it's a slap fight. It's no longer, are you going to be hit by a barrel? I think I'm going to give fish a gold tier counter here. While you're in the rob form, you are perfectly safe. But there's a long cooldown, so you'd have to uh, kind of not be oofed in the process of this. But if you see a barrel being thrown at you, if you just go into the rob form, nothing's going to happen to you. Nothing. You are perfectly safe while in this form. I'm gonna go ahead and give Rob a gold tier counter here. How well can you dodge with the retro bomb ability? 
Mm, I went where I wanted to when he threw the barrel, but I don't know about that one. So let's see. So he threw the barrel, I hit it. I'm going forward exactly where I want to be, but I'm ragdolled, so I don't know. I would say that this glove is like a 60% counter. Can definitely work to get you where you need to be, up close and personal. And once you do get up close, you do have that advantage. It's almost kind of like they match up with each other. So I like giving it that 60% counter rating. I don't think they can remove all the minions in one shot with null, so this would be a good little deterrent to make them fight you in a specific way. Nope, the minions cannot be erased by a barrel. So yes, I do like this as some sort of deterrent. The Alchemist Invincible Potion is definitely going to keep you safe, making this a top tier counter. With this, as long as you're able to get yourself a piece of Elderwood and a Mushroom, and throw in two Mushrooms with one Elderwood, click the ladle to make an Invincible Potion. When you drink this, if they try to throw a barrel at you, nothing is going to happen. You're perfectly safe in this form. So, you could go create any other potions you might want to do, or you could go and slap them off the edge if you like. One thing to test with Scythe is if they are up close to you after being hit by the scythe can they throw a barrel at the ground to give you knockback they can't use this ability to throw the barrel on the ground so you can sit there and camp them and throw them or slap them off of the edge i was wondering what was going to happen there because with leash they can still throw the barrel while they're on the ground causing knockback so i was i figured it might happen with scythe but it does not so scythe is a good counter here the ice skate glove should be really good for dodging and getting up and close to them really quickly so you can dodge that and run after them, of course. And you get your ability back pretty quick, so it's not something you'd really have to ultimately worry about. But just do something like that where you jump directly at them, and now you're up close to them. So I think I'm going to give Ice Skate like an 80% counter here. Dive Bomb is going to be a deterrent glove. If you can get up into the air, there's nothing that they can do to avoid you coming down if you're like right above them and have a big circle. They have no movement whatsoever, but that's if you can get up in the air. If you're in Spoonful's ability, can you be hit? Yeah, you're fine. The one downside with Spoonful is if you end up hitting them with a spoon and they don't fall off and they have distance again, your ability cooldown is pretty large and they should be able to throw at least two to three barrels at you before you get your ability next. That's why I'm only going to give this like an 80 to 90% counter. Shulop should work out very, very well here. Gold tier counter, to be honest with you. As soon as you get hit, just go right at them. Once you're right up close to them, you can go back into slap fighting. Let's see if you could save yourself if you're near the edge. Ooh, not that close, but you saw how close I did get. Of course, the Avatar Glove counters everything. This works great for fighting against these barrel users because you will take no knockback. They have to slap. Granted, with the early stages of these Avatar users, two slaps and you're done. But coming up, if they land a barrel on you, you're taking no knockback whatsoever. They have to do the slap. So Avatar, of course, is going to be your counter all. Does Fan do anything? Does the Fan destroy barrels? Oh my god, the Fan destroys barrels. That's insane. So if they go to throw barrels, just push them with a fan. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does destroy barrels for some reason. Although I'm laggy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the counters for this brand new barrel glove. Pretty crazy. I think everything that happened within these counters, I kind of expected, except for fan. That one caught me off guard. But shout out to all the goobers you do see on your screen right now. We have Laser, Blobman, Klee, Show, Cyborg, Foamy, Carl, Gravity, and Eddie in the back. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. But let me know, which counter do you think was the best? I think the best counter in this had to be Titan. The fact that nothing happens to Titan, and for them to erase you, they have to come up and slap. It's like their biggest counter. In my opinion, that's what I think. But also let me know which counter you think was the funniest or your favorite. I think for me, that had to be Fan. I was not expecting Fan to work. That one caught me out guard right at the end there. Also, shout out to Ivan. He's late. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the counters. We all hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this, and we shall see you in the next one. Later! <laughs> there we go. I struggled with that.